We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Christian Wilkins and Zach Sealer, Miami Dolphins defensive tackles. Perfect time to break out this video because I was already planning on doing a duo video for them this week, and then the Hard Knocks episode dropped last night. We got that salt and pepper duo. Uh, perfect timing for this video, and they both had amazing games versus the Jets. If they are, and I think they're super important. Like I think the Jalen Phillips injury, obviously, you want your edges to um, really step up. But that that means, you know, in certain games, your edges are going to get more attention, like Bradley Chubb getting chipped, things like that. And when that happens, you really need your interior guys to start creating disruption like this up front, getting some interior pressure, because a lot of guys really struggle with that. And they did that in this game. Got explosive, got upfield, a uh, great feel against play action here. Uh, the center, don't know what he's doing, but he slides too far. Wilkins gets up there, takes that penetration. Sealer also instantly penetrates, gets taken down low by the running back. But gets back up, stays with the play. Wilkins is able to stay with Zach, who's a pretty, you know, elusive quarterback within the pocket. This is great athleticism to stick with this. Track him down. He has the sack here. And then Chubb comes in here and forces the fumble. And then Sealer picks it up. Really, you know, <laughs> getting those big plays. He had the pick six last week. This game almost gets another touchdown, which would have been honestly pretty funny. And seeing their, like, their relationship last night with Hard Knocks was was really cool you know you got that bromance going on for sure and they're really funny uh Wilkins is, is an absolute clown but uh I think for me really thinking about it um at this point in the season I think Wilkins is a priority like the number one at this point when I've really gone over it in my head they have a lot of free agents but I think Wilkins just brings too much energy <laughs> and he's too good like obviously everyone knew going into the season Wilkins and Sealer were absolutely dominant run defenders but due to that scheme they didn't really get to show off their pass rushing ability and they both are very high up there in sacks now this season and also just being disruptive on plays getting pressures working really good on twists and stunts and then making impact plays like this Dolphins played actually a decent amount of base in this game getting all three of the guys on the field Raekwon as well and you know I'm gonna gotta show some running plays because they absolutely dominate versus the run Wilkins gets into the backfield he's just was he was the best run defender in the NFL last year in my opinion this season with you know the scheme and everything he hasn't got to make as many impact plays versus the run but he's still absolutely amazing versus he gets his one-on-one -on -one to the outside um he's reading you know this this play right here he sees it's tossed to the outside they're working outside zone he's go going with the flow of the play and then look at him use his hands to the get this guy he's pushing and then pull him down rip underneath just absolutely beats his guy to the point of attack and then everyone else kind of you know flows into their play uh, everyone's there to you know Raekwon David Long Sealer's on the opposite side here um he kind of you know probably misreads it takes a little bit of a false step there but is still able to get across the face and get over there late showing some you know decent movement skills for a guy of his size which i like to see because Wilkins more of like the the freaky athlete of the bunch up here like he's super super talented and this is a uh, it's been really encouraging i think watching this front seven really blossom after especially like the slow start of the season they had they were really bad versus the chargers and since then they've been like slowly improving and then they just hit a point where they've been absolutely dominant then we get a Zach Sealer solo sack. Nice to see these because I feel like a lot of, you know, Sealer sacks this season have come on like stunts or where he's a guy crashing down. Nice to see him just truly, you know, winning with power uh, and then using, you know, some good hands to throw this guy away with leverage. Uh, just dominant all-around rep. Nice to seeing him win these one-on-ones truly -on because this is very important. If he can win these on a more consistent level, that helps out the defense so much because a lot of times... You know, they get like Chubb and Van Ginkle get a uh, tight end and running back to their side. And then sometimes they slide to Wilkin. So Sealer will get this one-on-one -on -one opportunities. If he takes advantage of this, he gets off. You can see the power. Good leverage, pad level. Use it against it. Now he pushes him, kisses this guy off balance. And once he fully extends, pulls him down, tosses him to the side. Good stack and shed. And then gets to Wilson. Uh, clean tackle as well. Very, very nice. like to see him winning these one-on-one -on -one reps. It's so, so important. Here we get to see Christian Wilkins making another impact play. They working a stunt up front as they do all season long. They've been doing twists and stunts, always Wilkins and Sealer. And, you know, they usually trade off parts, but I feel like Sealer is usually that guy crashing down, taking up all this space. Really good job. And then Wilkins times it up perfectly, loops around, and he's able to dip underneath. Good job, like, uh, getting, like, low, ripping that shoulder seal. He, like, dips the shoulder slightly, so it reduces the surface area for this guy to get hands on him. His hands whiff, get to the back, and then, like, Van Ginkle, Chubb, Wilkins, they all meet at the quarterback really really nice stuff uh seeing them make plays like this big fan of you know uh the the stuff they do up front when it comes to the games like that sealer some more pressure nice to see him you know they throw the ball it gets uh past deflection in the backfield by elijah campbell and this is just sealer showing some nice quickness beating a running back these are some of the best pass rush reps i've seen sealer have all season long which is very very good 
uh, winning to the inside A-gap, like, especially when he's aligned as that, like, that three tech, good hand technique, hits that hard club, rip underneath, then occupies the running back, tries to throw a body on him, he works through that very easily, we've seen him do that plenty of times where he bullies a running back, ball has to come out quickly, floats on them a little bit enough, uh, a little bit there because of that, and then allows Campbell to make a play, nice to see Sealer really making these impact plays as a pass rusher, I uh, want to really see this for the rest of the season because I think it's very, very important. Zach Sealer making big time plays. Him and Wilkins just doing it all. But Sealer also getting his hands up, being aware, get the tip at the line of scrimmage, just doing it in multiple different ways. Like obviously these aren't the craziest plays, but they're, it just shows like good football instincts. Sometimes, you know, like you can see like they're doing, you know, trying to set up this rush where he's like sliding out to the right so they can maybe bring in this blitzing uh, linebacker with Duke Riley. But now he's just reading it, sees the quarterback's eyes, get up. The guy's holding him, uh, get the hands, good timing and everything. And that's just, you know, another nice play to see from Zach. Last play that we're going to break down. This is a, you know, good Christian Wilkins rep. Get to see him getting one-on-one. -on -one. They slide over to Sealer. Sealer uh, realizes he doesn't win initially. He gets hands up, tries just to just throw off the timing. I like seeing both of this reps from them. But seeing uh, Wilkins as a 2i, you know, a lot of times during the 2i, it's, it can be difficult to get some clean pass strips. But he hits that club hard to the outside, rips underneath you can see that bend in his lower half. Like, this flexibility for a defensive tackle is special. And you're not supposed to be able to keep moving, maintain your speed, get around the edge. And it just forces this guy to slide away. Sealer's reading the QB. He kind of has two guys on him initially. Get hands up. Uh, disrupt the timing of that. And they kind of, you know, really force Simeon to just throw away. Not even really attempt to complete it down to the tight end. But that explosiveness off the ball from Christian Wilkins is absolutely insane. Uh, the flexibility in the lower half. Defensive linemen of his size are not supposed to be able to move like this, flex, uh, be flexible like that, and make a play. The salt and pepper duo, man, they add it, making big plays. Really excited to see how they look for the rest of the season. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys next time. Peace.